first guest from Saturday Night Live, where, among other things, he hosted the Weekend Update. Remember that? But he was so committed to doing an imitation of Bob Dole, he even took Viagra himself. That is really... Now he's the host of his very own show right here on ABC. It's called The Norm Show. Take a look. Hearing is 3 o'clock. And uh, don't worry, because with the help of a little oxygen, you're going to be as sharp as a tack for that review. <laughs> Oh, wow. Huh, I just remembered where I left my uh, Lincoln Logs in fifth grade. In 1938, I killed a hobo. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Do, do a little Bob Dole for us. Bob Dole? Yeah. Would you? You want me to do it? Yeah, do it. It's a kind of an old uh, impression, you know? Make and some of the news again. It is? Yeah. Well, I try to work on new impressions, you know what I mean? Like, like fresh torn from the headlines of the newspapers, yeah. of the journals, of the, you know. Well, yeah. isn't today's, <laughs> today's headline? You just do a little. But I got a Liddy Dole. I'm working on a new one. Liddy Dole. Liddy Dole. Yeah, I do, yeah. do Liddy Dole. Do Liddy Dole. Okay. Uh, uh, <coughs> <laughs> um, I'm Lady Dole, running for president. Lady Dole wants to be president. Doesn't want to work at the blood bank anymore. Wants to be president of the United States. Lady Dole. <laughs> you got that, Bob? No, no, no. That is Bob Dole. Bob Dole. Bob Dole. Bob Dole. Bob Dole says I'm Bob Dole. <laughs> Lady Dole. Lady Dole. I'm Lady Dole. I'm Lady Dole. You're sweet, man. Yeah. Very good. And you know how sometimes, like, when people are married for a long time, they start to sound like each other? Mm. I think that's what happened with I Bob and so. Lady Dole. <laughs> I mean, you're wild in that show, and you're wild in person. What? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think? No, I think you're wild. <laughs> <laughs> you the next question. You hear us talking about the Friars Club roast and everything, oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and, you know, Joy is the queen of the Friars Club. I went club. to that Friars Club once. i never seen a roast or anything like that, Joy, but... I, seen, I went one time, I loved playing poker, I had a bit of a gambling problem for a while, and I couldn't get enough poker games, right? So this dude, he told me, you gotta go to the Friars Club, man, there's a big poker game there, right? I have to talk to four people here. <laughs> so, so, uh, so I go to the, to the Friars Club, Barbara, are you listening? Yeah. 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 They tell me there's this great, there's this big poker game, right? So I go there and there's all these old dudes there, right? And they're all comics from like 50 years ago and I don't know who the hell they are, you know? And it's not like famous comics like Milton Berle or anybody like that. It's these B-level comics from 50 years ago, you know? Like a Freddie Roman and dudes like that, right? So they're all playing poker, you know? They're all playing poker. And I'm playing poker. I just want to play poker. But they're all, like, making jokes, you know? And every joke they're making involves me being a gay dude. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they'll go, ah, here you go, uh, kid. Here's a, you know, be like a queen. I'd get a queen. <laughs> go, uh, here's a lady for the lady. Ah! You know? And they'd all laugh, you know? And I didn't notice at first. I'm just playing cards. And all of a sudden, I realized every joke is me being a, a homosexual man, right? So I'm not a homosexual man, as you well know. So, <laughs> He's definitely not. You're not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. But let me tell you something else. Uh. I would have sex with you while you were awake. <laughs> for me. Go ahead. Uh, no, there's no story. It's just, and then I'm playing, and then all of a sudden, this old dude next to me goes, ah, kid, just, uh, uh, you gotta, you gotta show them, uh, show them what you're made of. You insult them, too. You know, so I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, so there's an old dude. There's like 70 years old. So I go, hey, uh, uh there, old dude, you probably, uh, have had a few guys. I've had sex with a few guys, right? And he goes, <laughs> Then you have to 
to see the Norm Show. Now, I, I have to actually write down your character. It's a tax evading former hockey player sentenced to community service as a social worker. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. He just couldn't come up with a guy named Joe. No, it's this person here. Yeah. But yeah. I'm told, even with this comic timing, you can't remember your lines. I can't, I can't memorize stuff, you know what I mean? I'm not good at memorizing. We only have one minute, by the way. <laughs> you can read. <laughs> so what do you do? He wasn't holding up that finger, but go ahead. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, that's a one. Okay. <laughs> no, no. What, what, do you do? what do you do? Well, you weren't listening? I, what do you do? I, I How do you memorize? memorize. How do you I can't do? memorize things, like, because in each script we get each week, there maybe there's like six, seven hundred words. Wow. You know? And you have to say them in order. You know what I mean? That's really hard. That ain't easy. What is it like on the set of that show with you? What, what is it like? Well, mm -hmm. what do you mean? What, what do I mean? Well, because, because you're so average she thinks you're wacky. You well, I I'm just saying it's hard wacky. to memorize. We're not walking around the set going, hey, uh, uh, so you know. What are you I try to, like, sometimes, if you watch the show, sometimes you'll see, like, I'll forget a line. You have to watch line. it, too? Yeah. <laughs> Not just have you on, we have to watch you it, You have to watch the show, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. No, but sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, geez, this is a long minute. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, like, if you watch the show, you'll notice, sometimes maybe during the show, there'll be, like, uh, maybe some, like, sometimes, like, 20 minutes will pass where nobody will say anything, you know what I mean? Because it was my line. <laughs> <laughs> but there's ways to cover. Sometimes I'll just read a newspaper. No, you, you, you've admitted that you're lazy. I think you've read six books in your life. You, I've read you, six. Six. What kind of a woman would be attracted to you, do you think? Well, I have a lot of money. Oh. <laughs> announced yesterday when we all pranced before the advertisers. I have been renewed yesterday. for next year's. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. And I have forgiven you for all those takeoffs you did on all of us very serious news people. Uh, on news. the Saturday Night Live program? Night Live. You, were yeah. 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 you were brilliant. You were. You were brilliant. No, you were. You were. You were. You were. You were. Collecting day. Joy's book is great. Did you read it? Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Norm. That was a very Thank fine you, Norm. book. I really enjoyed it. Joystick. <laughs> yeah. Say the name of the book. Yeah. Enough already. Joy, 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 Joy. Yeah. Would you? We're coming back at the last segment. We're, we're talking hot topics, and we're going to be discussing Star Wars. Do you want to stick around and join us? And action figures. Yeah, right. Thank you, Norm. You're going to come back. Oh, okay. And your minute is up. Okay. Be sure to catch The Norm Show tonight at 9.30 Eastern right here on ABC. Later, Barbara's showing you her eye makeup secrets. But when we come back, find out what you do every day that can really be bad for your health. We'll be right back. How does Barbara Walters get her picture-perfect peepers? She'll show you later. sitting here but instead of being at home. Anyhow, so unless you've been living under a rock, uh, Star Wars. I, I do not understand why people stand in line for days and days and days. They can't see the movie in two weeks. I mean, they don't have jobs. In any event, <laughs> so I went to see Star Wars. I have never seen any of the Star Wars, and I felt terrible about it until I learned that you I never, never saw seen it. it. Never saw the first no, one. I never saw any of them. No. You never saw any of them? No. You never wanted to see Star Wars? No, I never seen I never liked them. I, I don't like those science fiction because my dad always hated them. And you know how you, 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 you try to be what your dad, you try to be, you know what I mean? And I remember when I was a kid, I watched that Twilight Zone. Remember that show? Uh -huh. And oh my God, my dad hated it because it was too fantastical. And he thought I should be doing the chores. And I remember one time me and my brother were watching Star oh, Wars. Oh, my son have you ever seen Star Wars? <laughs> Backstory, but me and my brother were watching the Twilight Zone, and then my dad walked by, and we were watching, and we were all excited about this Twilight Zone. And then my dad walked by, and he looked at like the screen, and he said, uh, "I suppose this one's a goddamn ghost." Oh well, that was 
funny. Okay. Ed, we're going to give our book review. So, I that had never so seen funny. it. I thought all the, all of the, uh, you know, the mechanical figures and all of that, I thought that was fine, you know, but it was okay. What'd you think? Well, I tell you, I did love the pod race. That's the best part. There's this race in the middle of it. I'm a big Star Wars fan because what about Harrison Billy Ford, D. Williams? I bet you like him. Race back in the day with the real original Star Wars. Yeah, I hear that was with, fast. Yes, with my man Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford playing race. Han Solo. Now, that was some Star Wars. Now, I have to tell you a confession, Barbara. I fell asleep for ten full minutes in this Star Wars. I haven't. I was confession. watching it. What happened? I did too. You did. Yeah, sort of in the middle. And you never go to Star Wars. No, you know what? I'm not interested. In you know what Wars. happened? You know what happened when she fell asleep? Meredith's husband had sex with her. He went to hell. Yes. He had. You, you, you might get a little of that if you weren't so busy fondling yeah, these action figures. Yeah. I mean, what are you talking about? No, well, you know what? There's a psychiatrist. Is it from Harvard? I think it is. Who's been studying these figures and noticed that their muscles are getting bigger and boys have body images. They don't talk about it, but they do body image problems. And part of it is because of these action figures. They see these and they want to look now like they, them when they, they get bigger. they have the same problems as girls. girls yeah. So what are you doing with that poor action figure? Oh, I'm fighting. I am Tom Glavin. I will beat you. That is, did you ever have a body image problem? Yeah, do because you I'm really, really thin, so I always wear like lots of clothes because I'm ashamed of my thinness. No, seriously? Yeah, look, you can put your whole hand around my wrist. See how tiny it is? Most boys are built <laughs> That's not good thin. for a boy. I mean, no. if you want to look like this, boys now know that if they want to look like this, they have to take steroids or turn gay. That's how you look like this. Right. But you're very tall. I was going to take that. Doesn't that steroids. make up for it? You, you were going to take steroids? Yeah. But then I found out, you know that they, sh they shrink your testicles? Did you know that? I, I swear thought that was the fun part. You know what? If you look at this well, little action guys, figure, I'm telling you. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Oh. Too bad. And I have to say, Norm, that speaking as you just did, you fit right into this panel. Oh. <laughs> and we may just add you every day to our Hot Topics. Norm, oh, you are. Thank you. 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 Thank you.